I'm Rebecca. I'm a Canadian living in London. I like to travel, eat, and take blurry videos while I do that. My boyfriend and I are traveling around Uganda, and in today's video, we finally get to do the most famous thing in the country, tracking mountain gorillas through the jungle. Oh, we also threw in climbing an extinct volcano where you can cross into Rwanda and the Congo without any border checks. We're driving into the windy and penetrable forest to hopefully see some gorillas tomorrow and do gorilla trekking. But just the view in the background, like look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> What is this? This is like, what? Good morning. This is the day we've been waiting for. We've woken up and driven to one of the gorilla communities in the windy, impenetrable forest. The gorillas are habituated, which means that they're really used to humans and the rangers track and, keep, and know where they are almost at all times. One front, another one behind. In case you meet elephants, these are our guards. Okay. Okay, let's go. This is so much more difficult than the chimpanzee trekking. You're going down an incredibly steep hill. And down is always more difficult though if I'm stuck. So here, Link, those are the trackers for with gorillas. Oh. oh. We might not walk a very long distance like yesterday how people walked. A group came at, 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 at around 6 p.m. <laughs> it was a whole day. <laughs> So I have had the trackers, those are with gorillas. Let's hope that the gorillas should not go very far. Yes. In the forest we don't have many trails. So we always follow the, the sounds of gorillas. Today we are so much lucky. We found gorillas at an at an early time. We're so close. Oh, look at the baby. The big boss is there. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the big one we are seeing is the dominant silver buff. <laughs> See the silver buff? Around here. <laughs> Yep, I'm okay.
and not every day that we see them like this. Sometimes we see like five, we see like three, we see like ten. But today I don't know whether you've counted, but you've seen majority of this group. In this, in this group we've got around 13 individuals, but hopefully we've seen like almost 10 individuals, including a silverback, the other blackback that we've gone with, a babies, the youngest baby of one year. So yeah. we are so much lucky. Yeah. I mean, it's like five something again, and we're about to leave for a hike, which is to get try to get to the top of an extinct volcano. And it's where the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda and Uganda meet. I'm slightly regretting it after reading a bunch of blog posts about people getting altitude sickness and having to come down. But I already paid for it. And I like to get my money's worth. Okay. I should start chugging water now. Uh. So are we going to go straight into the smog? Yeah. <laughs> I know we're in Uganda, but this looks more like a Japanese forest. So we've been walking for a, a while, but the guide just said the real hiking starts now. Mount Sabino is a climb up three separate peaks reaching an altitude of over 3,600 meters. The slopes are home to wild mountain gorillas and you have to be accompanied by armed guards. Because of the rugged terrain, the only way this path is accessible is via handmade and slightly unstable ladders. It's at the border of Uganda and Kuhu. Oh. Yeah. Finally at a place where you can get a really good view. And that over there is the Congo. And if our travel insurance would have let us, we would have gone. We're headed towards the mist. It's already getting colder and Jonathan hates me. Jonathan, status update. I'm ignoring your existence. I'm in trouble. If I pretend you're not there, I can pretend I'm in a nice beach oh. I need it to not be so high up. <laughs> this is the point in the trek where my boyfriend decided it didn't matter that my father would one day watch a YouTube video of him abandoning me on the side of a Ugandan mountain he was not ready to fall off the side of a cliff. Some people just don't have their priorities straight. <laughs> See ya. Oh, and if she dies, bring her body back, yeah? <laughs> That's it. We lost Jonathan, so I'm not gonna be taking a lot of videos. It looks like I'm in the enchanted forest here. Oh my God. A long bridge up. That is Rwanda. Two more peaks to go. He's making it look way easier than it is. Just this is a gorilla bed? And this is where they would have slept? Yeah. Oh, good for them climbing this high. The vegetation is on the fairy Jurassic Park. The movie people definitely stole it from here. Mountain gorillas can do this. <laughs> and you can do this backwards. Yeah, me, I'm strong. <laughs> I've been hiking this mountain for four years. Four years. It's not easy to die. Oh, look, all you can see behind me is fog. Straight fog. So we are moving in the mist. <laughs> like gorillas. Uh, yeah, now, you are now a muzungu in the mist. <laughs> White person in the mess, very active. Final climb to the peak. Here comes the first, the third peak. 
three countries at once. I was the first one. You've made it. <laughs> yeah. This is the one. Between three countries. We are now in three countries at once. And I wasn't the last. I was the first. <laughs> yeah. So now you've gone to Rwanda. You are in Rwanda now. <laughs> Me, I'm in Congo. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Three countries without a visa. I'm seeing the weather is changing. Yeah. In yeah. And it's not changing for the better. You're not seeing that everything's going to cl oh, open up. Some uh oh. Okay. So we should go. It started raining just as we're leaving the top. Not perfect timing. I just wanted to show how steep it is. The video doesn't give it justice of what it's like to freaking climb up that. The clouds are starting to clear. We're above the clouds. So you can finally see some of the background. That's amazing. It's getting dark. <sighs> Just under nine hours. Hike over nine hours hiking. <sighs> I'm holding on to Jonathan or else I will fall and pass him. <sighs> it was so beautiful and so worth it. And I'm glad I did it so I can rub it into Jonathan's face. JK, JK, I'll never do that. I'm good. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> A bucket list experience checked off. I can't decide which was more exciting. Falling in the path of an angry silverback gorilla or almost falling off a cliff into the Congo. I can tell you one thing for sure. Neither were anywhere near as stressful as what came next. I'll give you a hint. hint. <laughs> Get it? See you in the next video.